If you want to learn how to build a WordPress website, but you don't want to spend hours watching tutorials, then this video is for you. In exactly five minutes from now, you'll know exactly how to build a WordPress website from scratch in the best and easiest way possible. Lesson one, wordpress.com versus wordpress.org. First, you have to understand the difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org, because if you choose the wrong one, then you've already failed. What you want is wordpress.org. This is where you get the free software that lets you build and fully control your own website. WordPress.com is basically a hosted version of WordPress with major limitations. To access the full WordPress experience and unlock key features like themes and plugins, you'll need to pay at least $25 per month. And personally, I don't want to pay to access an open source platform, which is why I avoid WordPress.com. Lesson two, hosting. The only cost you can't really avoid when running a WordPress website is hosting. Hosting basically means renting space on a server to store your website files. This server runs 24 seven, so your website is always online. But which hosting provider should you use? There are hundreds of options, and the truth is most of them work just fine. But the one I personally use and recommend is Hostinger. It's fast, reliable, and one of the most affordable options out there, which is probably why Hostinger is quickly taking over the web hosting market. It's also one of only three providers officially recommended by WordPress. If you do end up choosing Hostinger, make sure to sign up using the first link down below in the description to get an additional 10% discount on your hosting plan. Lesson three, installing WordPress. So how do you actually get started and install WordPress? It's actually pretty easy. Once you sign up with a hosting provider, most of them offer a one-click WordPress installation. For example, with Hostinger, all you have to do is select WordPress during the signup process and they'll automatically install the latest version for you and send you straight to your WordPress dashboard. Lesson four, themes. Once you reach the WordPress dashboard, it's time to install a theme. The theme controls the design and layout of your website. Things like colors, fonts, page structure, and the overall style. If we go to appearance and then themes, you'll see the default WordPress theme 2025 is currently active. It is pretty limited, so we wanna replace it with something better. Click add new theme and search for a theme called Astra. Astra is one of the most popular WordPress themes out there. It works for almost any type of website and comes with a huge library of pre-designed templates. Lesson five, plugins. Plugins are like apps for your website. They add new features and functionality without any coding. For example, if I want to add a contact form to my website, I go to plugins and then to add new, search for contact form and install one of the options. Once it's installed, I can easily create simple forms and put them on my website. Here are the plugins that I recommend to install for every WordPress website. They're all free or they do have a free version that gets the job done. Lesson six, templates. I'm gonna make a wild guess and say you're not a professional web designer, which means designing an entire website from scratch probably isn't an option. The solution, pre-designed templates. Let me show you a super easy way to access hundreds of professionally designed, fully customizable website templates. First, make sure you've installed the Astra theme, then go to plugins, click on add new, and search for starter templates. Click install, then activate. Next, at the top right, choose Elementor as your page builder. This will unlock a full library of templates that you can use to build your site. For example, if you want to create a portfolio website, just search for that here and start with a template that you like. Lesson seven, page builders. To customize your website, you'll want to use a page builder. The most popular one for WordPress is called Elementor. It's a visual drag and drop builder that lets you design and customize your website easily with no coding required. First, make sure the Elementor plugin is installed. In my case, it was automatically installed when I used the Starter Templates plugin to import my template. Now to start customizing, I'm gonna open up my website and navigate to the page I want to customize. Since I've logged into my WordPress account, I can see the admin bar at the top of the page. There, just click Edit with Elementor, which will open the page builder. From here, I can simply click on any element and make changes. And I can also add new elements to my site and customize them. Now, if you're ready to build your own WordPress website and you're looking for a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to build it using all the tools that I mentioned, go ahead and click on this video right here. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you over there.